Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, let's have a look at the Pixel Experience ROM for the LG V30. So this is a uh, relatively older build that I have here. And I've been using this because it has been pretty stable for me and has been performing well. And this has the October 2021 security patch level. So I thought why not make a video about it because I've been using it for so long. So first of all, here is the edit tile option. As you can see here, there are a few options here. And these are all the some of the bottom ones are from my apps like Franco Kernel Manager, but this half attack option comes with the ROM. And half attack works pretty well, but not as great as stock ROM. That's something to note. And also in that Volti or VO Wi-Fi won't work here, just like all other AOSP ROMs. And this is the Pixel Experience Plus, so it has a few more customization options but comes with the pixel goodness that we come to expect so first of all here you have this option it automatically gives you subtitles as you can say with whatever video you are playing it's pretty handy you have a few gesture options and as you can see here you can even customize the sensitivity and the touch area so this is pretty great otherwise i get annoyed if the full length gets touch control for the back gesture and here's swipe to screenshot now under the button settings as you can see here there are some options repeated here you can long press for torch you can control playback during click for partial screenshot as well and this is live caption feature it automatically detects whatever it is so if this for your first time seeing here you can see here and this is a pretty nice option let's go back you can even enable a network traffic bar here which is pretty dope you can tap to sleep you have some clock customization options here as you can see and you have brightness slider option so i have selected as show always so it will always be here at the top so i do not need to pull entirely and another great feature here is not just a quick pull down but you can customize the number of rows and columns here and i always like to keep columns like this it gives me a lot more options but it doesn't get too cluttered and let's go down and under developer options you have the generic options which are present on all rooms so let's avoid that and here is that so let's go ahead and here you have some other stuff under the display section as you can see here you can adjust the screen timeout you even have the live display option but i generally don't use it but you can turn things grayscale if you want to use your phone at night and want it to be light on your eyes and that you have some lock screen options and you have the option for always on display this is always on display basically with a different name you have tap to sleep tap to wake so make sure that you take the options here that you find relevant because they may not be enabled right out of the box like the stoke room or other ASP rooms and talking about the performance the performance has been pretty smooth and it comes with the google apps so that means you do not have to flash them separately uh, but you do need to flash my disk if you want to have safety net passing but you do not do need to do anything extra because it will pass by default so let me show it to you quickly let's go let's go let's go okay so it's passing as you can see here so yeah that's pretty much it for this video but here is the pixel launcher setting so as you can see here there aren't really very much settings here okay I do not really want that suggestions thing and other than that the, uh, the room is pretty fluid and battery life is pretty good too and i'm easily able to let it run through the whole day comfortably with my usage which is somewhat moderate i sometimes play games uh, like pubg so with that i hit about 55 ish fps on average on low settings 
but I think for this kind of chipset that is pretty great performance because on stock room it is a lot lower and overall I'm pretty impressed with this room and you can use it to daily drive if you are a fan of Google Apps because there are a lot of inbuilt Google Apps here so that's it for this video if you like to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I have also made other videos you can have a look at them about the LG V30 bye bye